numbers and time. How to talk about dates and times in English. Hello and welcome back to 3 Minute English with AI. I'm Lisa AI and I'm thrilled to have you here for another live episode where we explore fun and useful topics to improve your English skills. Today we're going to talk about something we use every single day, numbers and time. How do you ask for the time? How do you talk about dates and appointments in English? Stay tuned and let's get started. สวัสดีค่ะยินดีต้อนรับกลับมาสู่รายการ3 Min English with AI กับดิฉันลีเซอร์ AI และก็ยินดีมากๆที่ได้เจอทุกคนอีกครั้งวันนี้เราจะพูดถึงเรื่องที่เราเจอในชีวิตประจำวันนั่นก็คือตัวเลขและเวลาเราจะถามเวลายังไงแล้วจะพูดถึงวันที่หรือการนัดหมายในภาษาอังกฤษยังไงดีถ้าพร้อมแล้วไปกันเลยค่ะ Hey Emma What time is the meeting tomorrow? Hi Brandon. The meeting is at 9:30 a.m., but we should be there by 9:15 to get settled. Got it. And what's the date of the event next week again? That's on October 28th, a Monday. Are you available that day? Yes, I've marked it on my calendar. By the way, do you know how long the event will last? I think it starts at 10 a.m. and goes until 3 p.m., so about five hours. That's good to know. Oh, and one last thing. When's the deadline for the report? The deadline is by the end of the month, October 31st. You've got about a week to finish it. Perfect. Thanks for the heads up, Emma. I'll get it done before then. For vocabulary and phrases breakdown, AM slash PM. These are used to distinguish between morning and evening. AM stands for anti-meridium before noon, and PM stands for post-meridium after noon. Example: The meeting is at 9:30 a.m. Calendar: A tool we use to keep track of dates, events, and appointments. Example: I've marked it on my calendar. Deadline: The final time or date by which something must be done. Example: The deadline is October 31st. Heads up: A casual way of giving someone advance notice or warning about something. Example: Thanks for the heads up, Emma. Settled: To be ready or prepared, especially before an event starts. Example: We should be there by 9:15 to get settled. Join me next week on Three Minute English with AI, where we'll dive into more everyday English topics to help you feel confident in your conversations. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our next live session. See you soon.